lines. Mm -hmm. So we go into my floor plan, and you'll see a map of your home. What you can do from my floor plan is create no-go lines just by drawing on the map. So the whole reason behind it, sometimes you might not want the robot to go into a certain room, like today we've got a bedroom there, it's nice and tidy, but you may not want your robot to go and clean in that area, so you'll create a no-go line so the robot won't go there. Sometimes people have pets, of course, and they can have the dog area where the dog will eat, and the robot will not go in that area if you create a no-go line and potentially knock over the dog uh, food. The robot's only going to really clean in this area here. Well, I think the uh, our primary goal is to use the maps to do a better job for their own owners and consumers. So, so when we collect the map and we and we learn more about the usage and what happens with the maps, our fundamental intent is to give a better service and a better product to the consumer. So that's our intent. Uh, if tomorrow we will see an application of sharing those maps with other devices, we will ask the consumer if they want to do that, how do they want to do that, and if that would become attractive for them, then they will work with us to make that possible. But the maps, we are very serious about the privacy and the ownership of the maps uh, that belong to the consumer. So basically the robot will create a floor plan of your home and what you can do is create no-go lines Yeah, I think privacy and security is definitely a big concern in the smart home, especially since a lot of the kind of more interesting things we're seeing are newer companies. Um, even with the Essential phone, they just had accidentally released a ton of driver's license data, you know, diff information about people online. Um, and you just have to be sure you can trust who has your data. Even big companies, we've seen issues though with, with how they're handling this, um, you know, hacks. People try to hack things all of the time. I think there's, you know, a story almost every single day about something that's been hacked. Um, so it, it definitely is a big concern figuring out how to secure these, how to have, if you have everything that's smart and connected, how do you make sure that somebody's not getting access to your home who shouldn't be?